Hello, this is Comrade Rent, and again, thank you for watching. So, we're gonna be covering Wolfenstein 2, the new Colossus Collector Edition that will be released on October 27 this year. And I'm fucking excited for the game, CS, yes, because it looks Wolfenstein like. <laughs> I'm really happy about that. And again, Bethesda. So, uh, when it comes to Collector Edition of Bethesda, I usually I kind of praise them because they are not really overpriced. Uh, but they're kind of a meh collector edition for me, like always. Um, not that I don't collect them, I think I have most of them. And I like, I, I think I don't have Skyrim. Okay, that's kind of a bummer for me. Uh, when it comes to the collector edition of uh, Bethesda, uh, you have to know that they usually don't hold value. They will be dropping in price eventually, uh, because I think they made too much of them. Like, they kind of make... Uh, on based on the demand so um, something that I do love but when it comes to collectible and money usually those collector edition you do find after a couple of time uh, with less uh, for a, a sale or let's say lower priced uh, and does this collector edition looks good I think it's good for the vibe of Wolfenstein like I'm not gonna be getting it because I'm really not into um, the one six scale uh, Terry Billy Blesk action figure. I'm not into action figures. Uh, that's why I didn't buy even the Final Fantasy. That's just my preference when it comes to pricing. And is it overpriced? And usually that's why people watch my videos. I think it's not overpriced. It's one hundred dollars only. So the base game is sixty dollars for for so for forty more dollars, forty more, not forty five or forty seven. Um, you get in one six scale figure, and that cost. Uh, let's it's a thirty centimeters, and they usually do cost in this area, this size. Uh, plus, you're getting a lot of small things here, as you see. <coughs> you get a packet manual and blitz care. Uh, what are the blizzments? S uh, poster, as you see, <laughs> beneath the um, uh, pocket manual, you see it beneath there, or under the jacket, I think that's the poster. <laughs> you get this variety of weapons for the action figure, and all of this for more extra, like extra $40 is not bad when it comes to base value, especially if you live in the USA, because you're uh, probably gonna be getting low cost deliveries and low cost uh, uh, shipping taxing. Um, so for me in Europe to get this, it's probably gonna be costing much more. I know I got the Doom for around the $160 because of the taxing and delivery. And that's kind of like uh, in your... It hurts me because after a couple of time it dropped in price and I had the same with the Peep Boy. I bought it for crazy pricing. I bought it for close to um, close to three hundred and twenty dollars. So I did got burned on some collector editions, but when it comes to Bethesda, that's the, what they do. They um, kind of make enough for the demand. Uh, usually, what it does is just makes it not really collectible for the collector edition or even for flippers. That's something I really love. Flippers don't jump on Bethesda. And why they don't jump? Because they got born from the big boy. That's, that's a good lesson for flippers. So that's why you don't really see a lot of flippers when it comes to Bethesda. And those collector editions are not overpriced. I think the pricing is okay. I think just, uh, you know, it depends. They don't even drop that much in value. They drop around $10, $20. Uh, depending on the game, usually they drop like to 50 bucks, but because they're sold without the game, like uh, the game they buy it, let's say the game itself has the value, and the collector edition has the value. So some people just sell the collector edition without the game, so it drops in the value, but usually people do sell it even with profit of maybe, you know, they sell it without the game for 50 or 60 dollars, it's still more for what they bought because the base game is 60. And the collector edition is like 40 additional dollar. Uh, some people do go to the root of like uh, 
buying the collector edition and selling the game separately like for $60 for the Steam key or even for $40 they still have the collector edition and they like kind of hold the value there and basically paying even less and just holding the collector edition value because games always lose value so just be in mind when it comes to this so this is not my style so I'll be telling it but when it comes to collector edition I think it's a really an interesting and a nice choice the detail of this figurine are kind of like nah it looks like a figurine it's not high quality like say a, a Final Fantasy figurines and this is kind of a low quality figurine it looks okay and it kind of fits the vibe of the game it fits it feels like the old Germany in the 90s figures you know that they were sold but in the style of like the gen, gen like it can it fits it fits the vibe of Wolfenstein in my opinion so this collector edition is pretty cool but it's just not my cup of tea um, not overpriced uh, will it gonna be dropping in price probably will but it's not like 50% off they don't really drop like that uh, but as the collector edition drop in price but not crazy dropping in price so I'm really excited for the game though like really I Wolfenstein I met a lot of friends because a lot of Russians actually played Wolfenstein if you know um, and I had a good connection with people that like what do you play and I'm like Wolfenstein and like, mm, me too and it's kind of nice to get that connection and the game looks really awesome and I just li I really like the Wolfenstein the new order I enjoy that really and I'm probably gonna be buying the game maybe maybe I'll buy even the collector edition just to have it for having it like catch them all uh, but it's a nice collector edition. I don't have too much shit to talk about them. Uh, just to inform you that Bethesda collector edition, they usually demand and quantity. They kind of make it that you will, everybody will get a chance of holding this collector edition. Something that I do like because you don't have flippers because of that when it comes to Bethesda collector edition. And they do not do that shit when, like Ubisoft that they like scarce resources. It's kind of faking it but not making it anyway thank you for watching have a great and amazing day and again description down below i'll be putting the link and trailer and i'll see you around